This video is about prosomillet planting rates. This is Gary Whitgriff, an international millet researcher and author of two books on prosomillet. They are available for free on researchgate.com and can be ordered from my website relating to ancients.com. Prosomillet planting rates generally range from 20 to 25 pounds per acre, or 24 to 28 kilograms a hectare, when planted in six to seven inch row spacing. That's around 17 centimeters wide. Obviously, by making rows wider, one would expect to reduce the seeding rate proportionally. I'm from South Dakota in north central United States. Our climate is semi-arid and summer rain sporadic. Usually, precipitation comes from thunderstorms. Prosomillet is a great drought-tolerant short-season crop that takes advantage of those sporadic rates especially in no-till fields when planted appropriately. I've also worked with researchers in both Mongolia and Turkey. Mongolian proso was planted at much higher elevations, so I will give you a summary of our Turkish research as results parallel the, what we see here in South Dakota. For three years, we tested dryland proso millet in Western Turkey, which has a Mediterranean type climate. Drought was so bad one year, there was no harvest. That happens with proso, even though it is the most drought tolerant crop. Our Turkish research plots were planted at half the normal rate in seven inch rows, starting at 12.5 pounds an acre. That's about 14 kilograms a hectare at the low end. Then we tested at five higher seeding rates, up to two and a half times the normal or 64 pounds an acre, or 71 kilograms a hectare that is. The average of the two years that we did harvest, we found one, plant height and seed weight was not affected by planting rate. Two, planting rates produced larger panicles, that is low planting rates, produced larger panicles, that is seed heads. Therefore, each head had a higher seed count, which would you expect, you would expect. Interestingly, increased seeding rates produced more fertile tillers, however, Seeding rates did not greatly affect seed yield, protein content, or aerial that is above ground biomass. Again, seeding rates did not greatly affect seed yield. It didn't surprise us when our conclusion was that proso seed yield on the dryland trials was significantly influenced by the amount of rainfall and when the rains fell. So, can you cut seeding rates on proso millet without significantly affecting yield? Yes, absolutely. Since weather is an unknown for dryland proso, I'd recommend you don't mess too much with the seeding rates. Keep them in that range that I mentioned above. Rather, plant uniformly with well-maintained seeder. Don't plant too heavy a rate if your soils and climate are historically dry. Plant shallow, like an inch or so is best. Pack the seed row for good seed to soil contact. In no-till, sweep the trash from the planting row and plant between previous crop rows to avoid hair pinning. In extreme conditions where ground is too rocky or absolutely too wet to plant, consider broadcasting prosomillet seed. If possible, use a roller packer immediately after broadcasting seed. I hope this video helps you establish a good stand of your postal millet. More on millet at relatingtoancients.com. Search the internet. Enter Whitgriff Millet.